Hello everybody and welcome. It has come to my attention that maybe the, the lazy way of distributing the post-processing effect uh, to get that body cam didn't work for a lot of you guys. So right now I'm gonna show you how to make it. We gotta start off by creating a new material. I'm gonna name mine's PP underscore lens. And then I'm gonna right click on that material and create an instance. I'm gonna go to my outliner. I'm gonna type in post and then select my post process volume. Then I'm gonna click on the details and then I'm gonna type in array. Click on the plus and then choose asset reference. In the content drawer, click on the instance, then over at details, just click on the arrow and your instance will be loaded in for the post process volume. Back in the content drawer, just double click on the PP lens uh, material, and then we could get started. Under uh, material domain, uh, click on post process. Now I'm gonna right click and type in screen position. Right click again and type in comp, uh, component mask. Plug the viewport UV into the, the mask. In an empty location on the, on the graph, just hold A and then left click to bring up the add. Then we're gonna plug in the mask into the A slot. Then, uh, then hold one and left click an empty space so we can bring up a constant and plug that into the add B location. For the value, um, minus 0 0.5. And now we could just test it out just to see if it's working. And then you could press alt click just to get rid of it, you know, get rid of the connection. And then I'm um, uh, uh, left click and drags to select all of the, the nodes that I created so far. And then I'm gonna press C and type in screen position, center. In an empty location, I'm going to right click, type in radio gradient exponential. Then I'm going to drag from the add into the radio gradient exponential into the UV slot. In an empty location, I'm going to press uh, 1 and left click. And then I'm going to do that again. I'm going to right click on the, the node and uh, convert that into a parameter. And I'm going to do that for the other one as well. The first one, I'm going to call area radius, and the second, I'm going to call area fall off. I'm going to plug the radius into radius and the fall off into density. Pressing one, empty space, left click. And then I'm gonna plug that into the center position. Selecting the area radius, I'm gonna change the slider max to five. And I'm gonna do that for the fall off as well. The area radius and the area fall off, I'm gonna change the default value to one. Then I'm going to right click in an empty space and I'm going to type in one minus. And then I'm going to plug the radio gradient exponential right into the one minus. Right click in an empty space, type in static switch parameter. I'm going to call this invert. And then I'm going to left click and drag the radial gradient exponential right into the false. And then I'm gonna drag the one minus right into true. Left clicking and, and selecting all the new nodes that we created. I'm gonna press C and call this radial fall off. Hold the M in an empty space and left click. And then I'm gonna drag the invert into the B slot of the multiply. Then I'm going to click and drag the A slot to the add. 
plugging uh multiply into the emissive color just to test and see if it's working creating a new multiply node by holding m and left clicking bring the multiply into the b side hold in one left click and then right click create a parameter and i'm gonna call this intensity the default value 0 0.5 and the slider max at one then plug the intensity into the multiply A side. Plug in a mess of color. Once again, you gotta test these things. Select in the multiply node. I'm gonna just press C and I'm gonna call this multiply with UV. Select in these two nodes. I'm gonna just uh, press C and call it intensity. Right click in an empty space and I'm gonna look for subtract. I'm plugging in the multiply into the B. And then I'm going to bring the A from subtract all the way over to the add of the screen position center. Empty space, right click, and I'm going to type in scene, uh, scene texture. With scene texture selected, I'm going to go to the details panel. And then I'm going to look for post process input zero. Then I'm going to plug the subtract right into the UVs of the scene texture and plug the the color into emissive color and then we're going to drag that mass uh from the same position center to the subtract a and appear to have worked <laughs> now you could go to the content drawer and always like um you know, customize the instance, you know, the PP lens instance, and just check the area fall off, area radius, intensity, and you can manipulate the sliders to fit the style and the look that you really want, you know, like the, I, w I would suggest like look at like real body cam footage and you could always try to match that style and you could always look at the the sequel to this tutorial now to actually see like what post-processing effects to really make this become yours you know i'm gonna take this time to let you guys know all of you guys are awesome um 155 subscribers wow that's really crazy thank you so much and if this video was helpful for you, please like and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you on the next one.